Hello friends, I am currently getting my water heater replaced, so forgive any background noise that's happening. But I am here to give you a little rig breakdown. This is my current camera setup and I'm very excited to share that with you, so let's get into it. This is the Sony A6600, an upgrade from my very first mirrorless camera. Uh, which was the Sony a6000 and it was a wonderful upgrade indeed also shoots 4k up to 30 frames per second which is amazing for video it's also a great photography camera in terms of mirrorless crop sensor cameras I really do think that this is one of the best out there Okay, so the next purchase I made was this cage here from Small Rig. This cage enables me to attach a lot of what you see here on the table, including the top handle, the side handle. It's a great solution for hooking up a microphone, which um, otherwise would be hooked up here and uh, would block the screen. So I'm going to put the camera in the cage and we'll attach the other items as we go. Okay, so there's the Sony a6600 in its cage. Um, as you can see, I have the NATO rails here on the side and the NATO rail here on the top, which will make a lot more sense as we start to hook up the other items. Okay, next on our list here is the small rig wooden side handle. This has the NATO rail hookup. That actually enables me to have a very quick release system with the handle. It attaches like so, and you just tighten that down. Um, the great thing about these, they're spring-loaded, so you can kind of get that nice and straight like so. And so that is the side handle, which gives me two points of contact. So that's going to um, allow me to get smoother footage. It also gives me a cold shoe option here where I can hook up a microphone. And that brings us to our next item, the Rode Video Pro. This was an upgrade actually from the Rode Video Micro I was using, which was honestly a great mic. It didn't require a battery, um, nor did it require external power. So it was very great for these run and gun sort of moments. The problem I ran into with that microphone is it would get a lot of noise interference especially if you were near an internet router. It would just get this terrible digital noise that was near impossible to remove and post. Been very satisfied with this. The downfall of this is you do have to turn it on and off. I know that there is a model above this one that will power up when you power up the camera, which is a very nice feature. This one is not that microphone, so you do have to turn it on and off. I've already ran into situations where I'm filming something and I realized the microphone wasn't turned on. And um, yeah, that is definitely a con of this microphone, but when it is on, it is very good. It also has a negative 10 dB plus 20 dB option, low cut, um, as well as flat. So those are some of the sound profiles. So it hooks up to the side handle like so, and then it gets hooked up to the camera here like so, and um, we'll deal with some cord management later. So that is the microphone. I just realized I forgot a very important item, which is the lens. I actually use a Sigma 16 millimeter F 1.4, which is currently here on my Sony a 6000 capturing this video. This is a wonderful wide angle lens, great in low light, very versatile. And it is my number one lens that I use the very most. Um, second to that lens is my only other lens. Really, I'm working on my lens game currently, but this is the Sony 50 millimeter f 1.8 this is great for portraits and it's got great low light capability as well with the fast 1.8 aperture and i also um, really enjoy this lens one of the cons of this lens is how loud the auto focus is but this is a great manual focus lens which is something that i am getting more and more into 
and we will move on to the next item, which is this small rig top handle. Now, top handles are wonderful. I'm just gonna attach it right here while I talk because it has this, again, because of the, the NATO rail system here, this is a very quick attachment, which attaches like so. And um, the top handle is very great for getting lower shots. It helps to stabilize the camera. It gives you just like some, just some weight. Gravity kind of does the, the rest. And this allows for just a little more flexibility in terms of how you can hold the camera, of how you can stabilize the camera, getting rid of those micro jitters and also just giving you different points of contact for, for handling the camera. Um, the next item is this monitor holder. It connects via the RE pin locators and that just attaches right here. So that gives us the access point to put our monitor on. Which brings us to our final item, the Atomos Ninja 5, which I'm probably most stoked about for a number of reasons. The tiny little three inch monitors on these Sony mirrorless cameras, although they do a great job as best they can, it is not the same as having a nice big external monitor, which just helps to nail exposure, nail focus, and just helps to um, take a lot of the guesswork out of what the final result is going to be. And this attaches like so. We also attach the SD drive, which is also made by Atomos in conjunction with Angelbird. Battery. And then that gets hooked up HDMI to micro HDMI. And there you have it, friends. This is my rig. Still working on my um, cable management game. But that is it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something or I hope you just shared in the excitement that I have for all of this incredible stuff. Um, thank you to my patrons who make this happen. And if you are new to this channel, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. My water heater's fixed, my water heater's fixed. Huh.